What is storing your Tupperware? Hello everybody, <laughs> my name is Tupperware Pete, I'm Peter Williams, the very happy manager of the Hidden Treasures people. Hello everybody, I'm doing today's product of the day and it's not going to be a product that you, uh, um, that you might not have any uh, fresh ideas with, so I thought I'd pop on and I would just explain to you and I'm going to show you, I'll take you out the back so you can see out the back as well what I've done. I'm actually going to talk about the Chop Collector. Now this is the one that you can keep on the bench top. You can pop all of your veggie scraps in there and then at the end of the day you can take that straight to the bin. Or if you're prepping up a, like a stir fry or something, you can pop all of your pre-chopped veggies in here ready to go for tea. Or, let me just show you, if you've got chooks, all the chook, chook food can go into there, or you can take that out to the chook house and uh, collect all of your eggs into there as well. What you do is, I don't know if you can see this, see on my, I've got one of those corner, I've got one of those corner, so you can pop that onto the, see that right there? You can pop that there, you can scoop up all of your mess into there, you can seal that over there so it keeps all the nice, nice, um, flavours and things inside in there, and then when you're done, you just take that straight out to... The bin, right? Now, did you know, I can see we've got a few people watching, I'm not sure, <laughs> I have a little bit of technologically challenged um, experiences on my phone, so <laughs> roll on showcase, that's what I can say. Did you know on the bottom here, see these little holes? Did you know, if you just grab a screwdriver, you can pop those holes open. I bet, you, did you know that? Have you ever seen that before? How awesome is that? So now, if you want to, you can have your compost draining on the on the bench top and uh, you know on the sink top. You could pop that into a corner on the windowsill because it's got this little V-shaped here. You can pop that on a corner of the windowsill. You can fill this up with dirt. There's your little herb garden or what you do is you fill that up with dirt, pop the top onto there, mist that with some water, pop the top onto there, and now you've got your micro greens growing on your windowsill, or you can sprout things on your windowsill, right? What you can do is you can pop that into here, and then you can label this. So you can pop up your pictures onto here, you can put your basil and you can grow your basil, you can pop your spring onions, you know, the, chop the tops off your spring onions and pop them into there, and then you can decorate that as your spring onion, or you can pop that upside down like that, that now becomes your water collector for your herb garden. Now, I don't have animals or children, but guess what? I just planted some basil. Would you like to go and see it? Let me take you out the back and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> we'll have to be quiet so the neighbours don't hear. All right, are you ready? Let me take you out the back. I don't often take people out the back, but let me just show you. We'll just take you out the back. Here we, where, where's my, here we go. I'll just take you out the back and I'll show you what I've done. I don't have much space, but I do have a water heater. Now look at this. Let me just show you. <laughs> Can't believe I'm actually doing this. All right, I'm gonna pop you out the back here. Now look, there's my water heater. And there's my two chop collectors. I've got my basil, pistachio nuts as compost on one. There's the tops of the spring onions. And then there's the previous design in there. So now all I can do is grab my other two, pop them underneath here. Oh, where are we? <laughs> Doing this one handed is quite interesting. So there on the top of my water heater, I've got my little herb garden going in four chop collectors. Now, did you know when you purchase 10 chop collectors, pop it together as a party, you can get a free steamer. How about that, right? So let me just take you around here. Oh, let's take you around here. Because of the handle on the side, you can actually hook that over your... Now, can you imagine now? I'm gonna have my parsley and sage and rosemary and thyme. What do you store in your Tupperware? How awesome is that? I've got my herb garden happening in there. If I need to move house, I just take it with me and it's got the inbuilt drainers or I can stick it on my hot water system because I don't have much space. And there's my four pots in there. How gorgeous is that? So there's your chop collector. So have a think 
anybody that is thinking of um, growing some herbs or some veggies, these I've just chopped from the from when I went shopping. I just chopped the top of the spring onions off and popped them straight into there. And I've got some chili seeds growing into there. There's my basil that I got from Aldi. There's a few other bits and pieces in there. So yeah, pop it through. Um, not only are we sell selling the pink set this week um, for Breast Cancer Foundation research, uh, and that's going towards a, a free steamer for every 10 sets that you sell. But imagine every 10 of these that you sell can also go into the draw to win a free steamer. So you might want to do a mystery party pink, a pink mystery party. You might want to do a gardening mystery party. And everybody that places, everybody that buys one of these um, Tupperware chop pots <laughs> can go in the draw to win a free steamer for free. How awesome is that? If you've got any questions or suggestions, please sing out. I'm more than happy to, um, to help out. And until next time, forget your troubles and get happy and dance your cares away.